Hi everybody, this is Acacia here. Welcome back to the Chaotic Little Book Corner. I'm trying to slow down my words a little bit because I did get some feedback that I speak a little fast, which is not a shock. I do speak fast. Um, today I am going to be doing the A to Z challenge, which was created by Jen Campbell. I will link her video, the original, down below in the bar, and I will also link Mercedes' video for the same tag down below because it's Mercedes and I will always try and link Mercedes where I can. The way that this tag works is you use the surname of the author or the last name of the author. They mean the same thing but just for confirmation in case you weren't sure. So for example A would be Jane Austen. I'm not using Jane Austen, but that's the example I'm using. So let's get started. I have rearranged my background. Let me know what you think. If you have no thoughts, totally fine. I'm hoping to get a little more space and book uh, shelvery, if you will, very soon. So bear with me. I'm trying my best. All right. We're going to start with A because A is where you start in an A to Z challenge. Laura Hulse Anderson, Speak. This book was originally, hmm, oh my gosh, I've written in this so much. It's ridiculous how much I've written in this. So this book originally I picked up at the age of probably 14. Um, this is the Platinum Edition. I am absolutely in love with it. I've had it since I was 14 and I got it that summer after school finished. Um, it's one of my all-time favorite books. It is about a young girl who goes to a party and is sexually assaulted and then her entire school year, um, social interactions, everything, everything she does is affected by this um, attack and unfortunately she slowly but surely begins to fade away herself until finally she speaks up about the attack and if you haven't read this this is a very important book for anybody who has suffered from um, sexual assault abuse rape anything like that and it's also a very important book for anyone who has a friend who may have actually recently or in the past have been raped or assaulted, it actually gives a very good insight into the um, head of a person who has been harmed in a very, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, kind of easy way to understand. It's not very hard to understand um, and it's one of the most important books and it was initially published in 1999 at the time. I would have been 10 so I picked it up four years later. Please Stop Laughing at Me is my B, which is Jodi Blanco. This is the memoir of Jodi Blanco. It's her story as a child in her, I believe, elementary through high school. Yeah, elementary through high school years, um, being severely bullied, physically abused, and harmed by people in her school. It's very much not for the weak of heart. If you're interested in anything having to do with bullying, um, this is a very important book and it gives you a front and center look at what it looks like to be bullied and harassed, but please be aware this is not for the weak of heart. This is not going to sugarcoat it and it gets scary sometimes. If you have been bullied in the past, trigger warnings are in here. Um, I myself read it after I started talking about my experience with bullying when I was in high school. And uh, this actually gave me a lot of closure and it made me feel not so alone. So it's a very important book. M.R. Carey is C. Carey, the girl with all the gifts, which I've done a review on before. I believe I did this in my November wrap up. I started it around October and I ended up finishing it in November around the time of Halloween. I really enjoyed it. I thought it was really fun. I'm not usually a zombie sort of girl, but when I heard about this through Jen Campbell, I could not help but pick it up. I absolutely loved it. It is a mix between The Walking Dead and Matilda. She is very right. I loved it. I love the characters, especially the main character, and it's very creepy and kind of dark and definitely a little bit of an apocalyptic dystopian world feel. Simon Dunan, who was the... 
do, 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 do. A rid one of the original um window designers like he made the designs in the windows for Barney's he um or at least not an original but one of the um most recent people to do the windows for Barney's I'm sorry about saying original that was inaccurate but he talks about um in the asylum he talks about how women and men in the fashion industry can be compared to people in insane asylums because one of the things that people find in people with insanity is that they see patterns in places that no one else sees them and that's a very common trait in people in the fashion industry it also talks about the behavior that the people in the fashion industry demonstrate and how they act behind and in front of the camera and it's a very interesting book just a lot of fun to read pretty simple um if you like the fashion industry it's a good read e is for errol errol Baum, which is janice Auerbaum, which is i liar this is a book about a young girl she starts off when she's eight years old and she is living with her mother and her mother is very manipulating and crazy and she wants nothing more than to be loved by her mother and she begins to manipulate everybody around her to get the affection and love that she wants. And by doing so, she starts lying. And it begins with her lying about having cancer. And it escalates from there. I actually really liked that one. John Fowles, The Collector, is for S. This... One of my top reads of 2015. I loved this book. I couldn't put it down. I was obsessed with it. I personally really liked um, reading from the um, abductor's point of view more than the young girls, but that's just me. It's split into two parts. I absolutely did enjoy it. I loved it. Um, I will probably reread it again very, very, not very soon, but I will reread it again. I loved it. Um, I can't wait to hand this off to more people. So the concept is a young man becomes obsessed with a young girl. He wants her to love him back. So he abducts her and puts her into a space where she can't escape. And he obsesses over her the way he obsesses about his collection of butterflies. William Goldman's The Princess Bride. This, if you don't know what it is, I don't know what to tell you. It's The Princess Bride. I I love the book. I love the movie. It's beautiful. It's wonderful. Fairy tales, giants, sword fights, fantasy, love, just... Uh, you can't say enough good things about The Princess Bride. All right. H is for Christina Henry. <laughs> Surprise! Alice is back. I've ranted about this enough read it. And I is for Christine Eines, and that's Fishnet. And this one, I believe I did a small review on it. I really loved it. It's a young girl who runs away from home and her sister tries to track her down after a few years. It's really wonderful. It was easy to read through, even though I struggled a little bit with the language barrier because it is written very clearly in a it's not a different language, but the slang and the way that they say certain words and certain things, I wasn't sure of. But then as I got more into it, it was better for me to read it in one sitting because I was able to read it a lot more fluently once I got into the verbiage. J is for Jenkins, which is Elizabeth Jenkins for Harriet. I bought this. This was my first Persephone and I love, love, love it. And this is the end papers. I was actually slightly shocked that I liked this book as much as I did. Um, it moved a lot slower than I was hoping it would. It let, it took a long time to get to the point where, um, the actual trouble began, but it was totally worth the read. And I do believe... It's either based on a true story or it is a true story. I absolutely loved it. It's a young woman who has some, I guess you could say she has some mental troubles. Like she's a little slower, um, but she's 
under the care of her mother and a young gentleman finds out she has a good fortune and he ends up trying to woo her and that's where the story begins and it continues with a lot of trigger warnings as always with my books. K. Why? All right. So K is Piper Kerman, a memoir, Orange is the New Black. I don't know if you've seen the um, Netflix original version of this. It's interesting. I like the book a little bit better. It's about her um, year in a women's prison, facili prison facility where she um, is one of those like perfect Connecticut girls and she ends up in a <laughs> in a prison where she's getting all these new I, I don't even know how to explain it. It just, if you watch the show, you kind of understand it, but she has a lot of adventures in her time in the prison, but she was turned in by an old girlfriend for drug smuggling, and that's how she ends up in prison. It's a good book. It's easy to read, um, and it definitely feels very relatable for anybody who kind of is just a simple girl who doesn't think they would ever end up in prison. All right, L is for Rosemond Lupton, and that's sister. This is a young girl who ends up um, disappearing, and her sister has to track her down. I have not read this yet. I will be soon. It's a thriller. That's all I know. M is for Steve Martin's Shop Girl. Love the book. Love the movie. Can't say enough good things about it. Very sweet. Kind of romantic, but sad at the same time. Um, if you haven't read this, it's a good read. It's easy to kind of get through. And it's only 130 some odd pages. So it's a very quick read as well. The concept is there's a young girl working at a um, glove department and she meets a wealthier man and he ends up sweeping her off her feet, but she doesn't do the same for him and you follow their relationship. And her feel for symmetry by Audrey Nifniger. I have raved and ranted about this. I love it. It's good. It's wonderful. Read it. I'm going to reread it. It's good. O is for Sharon Olds, The Gold Cell. This was the first book of poetry I ever bought years ago. I love it. I haven't read it in a while, but I do believe I had a favorite poem in here. I just can't remember which one it was. I know I bought it specifically for one poem and I really loved it and I picked this up and then realized that one of the poetry books that I also picked up recently is recommended in conjunction with this as a similar feel. P. No surprise here, Amanda Palmer, Art of Asking. Love it. Read it. Need it. Buy it. Why haven't you yet? Where have you been? Jen and I agree. Get it. Q. I do not have in person, but it would be Silver Linings Playbook. And that author, I did not write down because I'm ridiculous. Hmm. I'll link it down below. R is for Mrs. Pettigrew's, Mrs. Pet Pettigrew's Home for Peculiar Children by R Ransom Rakes. Wonderful, turning into a movie with, um... What's his name? Tim Burton? Yeah, Tim Burton. So we'll see how that goes. I loved this book. I don't usually do young adult, but this one I actually really enjoyed. It's all based around photos, vintage photos, and then the story kind of revolves around them. And I really loved it. I read through it very quickly. I have to admit there's some really interesting feeling to it. Um, it starts off with a young boy's grandfather disappearing and claiming that there are monsters and the young boy goes to find out more about his grandfather's childhood in an orphanage and he finds the orphanage and it goes from there. It's really wonderful. You should read it. S is for... <sighs> Jacqueline Soon, Valley of the Dolls, wonderful, classic, beautiful, fabulous, and lots of drug addiction and weirdness and 60s New York and 
so fabulous. I really love it. If you like that kind of stuff, go for it. T is for Alice Thompson, the book collector. I have now reread it twice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've reread it twice now. Still makes the ending still doesn't do it for me, but the rest of it I absolutely love and keep reading repetitively, regardless of the ending. Read it. It's wonderful. I've done a review. I'll link it down below. You is, again, I forgot to write down the author, The Devil's Detective. I'll link it down below. V, Annihilation. I ranted and raved about this in my 2015 favorites. Read it. Buy it. The Southreach Trilogy. Wonderful. Amazing. Do it. It's so good. W, Aliyah Whiteley, The Beauty. Fabulously twisted awkwardness, a dystopian world where it's all men and all of a sudden the women start coming back as mushroomish sort of creatures and bossing and controlling a little bit more of the men's world again and it's so creepy and wonderful and I loved it. D is, or nope, not D, definitely not D. X is for Diary of a Madman by Lu Zon, L-U-X-U-N. And I know nothing about it. I just really like the title and I really want to read it. Um, why is for I am Mahala. And I will link that down below because I know Mahala wrote it. But I can't remember her last name for the life of me. Z is an amazing and the best dystopian why young adult book I've read in a very long time and the only one I actually really really love except for a new one that I will be reviewing very soon and this is What's Left of Me by Kat Zhang and I love this. It's the concept that two people are born or two souls are born into the same body and they have to and one always takes over the other but then sometimes things go wrong and they don't always separate and one doesn't always become dominant and take over and it becomes scary and weird and wonderful and the government gets involved and bad things are happening and they're sent to a place where there's different people that are like them that haven't completely merged and become one and so good. All right. I will link all the books down below that I have listed. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Thank you again for joining me in this chaotic little book corner. I will see you again. Please subscribe, like this video, comment down below. I hope to see you again shortly. Thank you very much. Bye.